it's almost sad right like i feel teams don't feel bad when they lose to city yeah. because you know like oh yeah it's fine what did we expect hmm. there are 12 teams in the league which probably play for 36 games in the season they just don't yeah. consider this team any any hope in this fixture people came to came to a point where they were like kdp please you should go to saudi because you've won enough <laughs> not because you're a bad player or you're turning into a bad player just go <laughs> like city my guy what is happening dude like i feel like there are a bunch of games where it's automatic wins i've never seen this in premier league like after 2010 right like all the teams were competitive even dude if arsenal liverpool city united any big club can go and play at ipswich i feel like ipswich has like you know 10% more probability of winning the game but when city shows up it's over like what's happening thoughts on this dude they were this ipswich, ipswich scored first and it was a good goal like to be honest i think edison has fallen off big time but uh... Uh, it was a good goal it was like a morale boosting goal you're up against the champions at their home ground we all know how shitty the atmosphere is all the time and uh, they went up 1-0 and then immediately capitulation and no like you could see the players yeah, like you know it was one of those things where the manager was like you know we were playing great for 8 minutes and all of a sudden we were 3-0 down and on the third goal he probably would be like what a freaking goal like what are they doing they're just running all over them and they have these beasts in Haaland and KDB and like Rod- is not even playing gundo on they have just bought foden is out it's the recipe of a five p like i don't think they are anybody stopping them it's just pains me to say this but it's, it's just i don't i don't think city people uh, teams turn up against them i think they are lost they have lost the battle when they see haland in the in in the tunnel or they see kdb in the tunnel they're like these are the best players in the world like a best striker in the world who will come you can bounce off him you can do whatever but he he will just score and uh, that's the inevitability that we need from anybody who can defeat city in the league it's almost sad right like i feel teams don't feel bad when they lose to city yeah. because you know like oh yeah it's fine what did we expect <laughs> so that that is a reason why like we we are seeing these things happen when when you don't expect to win when the other team doesn't expect to lose and when of course like they have a beast of a squad in literally every position they probably have one of world class players in every position and you have a world class manager on top of that you have a very well run club on top of you know that the club is not going to make reckless signings and spend money on players without thinking it's it's a completely well oiled machine it's like a dream club and how a club should be run so yeah i hate city <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the other thing is i was texting animesh says that like there are 12 teams in the league which probably play for 36 games in the season they just don't yeah. consider this team any any hope in this fixture like they're just like okay we get it prime tv slot we'll just go and like you know bank some revenues and like hope that we don't get embarrassed and like wipe the wipe our let city wipe the floor with us but i don't know dude i'm struggling with the answer if it's the down tools of the teams or like city being that good because city is also to give them credit there is relentless innovation bro there is yeah. relentless innovation every season pep just brings out new things and yeah. this season it seems like he found doku and savinho and just be like you know you guys have just one goal find that really big dude in the middle he's just like fully fit did not have a euro did not have anything he's just like you know did all his circadian rhythm and all that nonsense <laughs> <laughs> you know drinking cow's blood or whatever he does <laughs> you know this is there like um so it's it's not and whatever happened to kdb washed rumors bro he's just like back where it all started right like how- unfair and bring in gundogan <laughs> like it's it's over it's over for the league i'm sorry it's, it's, i think all yeah, these washed really... rumors are created by people who are just frustrated like us you know they <laughs> just want to somehow trigger like a crisis at the club which is not happening anytime soon and yeah. i think premier league is suffering because of that <laughs> there's, there's think... literally no competition yeah I, i don't i don't even think they were washed rumors like people came to came to a point where they were like kdp please you should go to saudi because you've won enough <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not because you're a bad player or you're turning into a bad player just go <laughs> like yeah. give us some give us some, give us a breather but also this whole narrative right teams don't play against them that's also true in a way like they don't have any local rivals oh, like oh, oh, oh. 11 no 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 i mean, I, I mean except not for united the, i think there was yeah that's what i meant that's what i meant <laughs> like we have 10 london club who have something to play for when a london mm. team visits them or like some yeah. there's like five extra percent that goes into the game just because it's a london team visiting but yeah it's city i mean there's so much of a media narrative that it's it's all rigged and it's 100 15 there's so many things that you can escape with and feel sorry about yourself with that teams are like yeah whatever i mean it's silly they are great they have this all this i mean if we lose we can make so many
many excuses that are justified then also we don't care because it just propped up 10 years back so they don't have really don't have like you know much of a history whereas we go to if Arsenal goes to a Fulham or like even Aston Villa for that matter is not a London club but like we always have like a heated battle with them because of Unai Emery and you know past history so it just doesn't have that so that kind of dilutes most of their fixtures in a way where like yeah teams are like whatever let's show up and then you know we'll, we'll see what it is but it's weird right like because United was also like isolated we did not have London rivalry but like teams hated us yeah. up and down the country up and down the continent everyone just like hated us why are they not hating on City dude like it's it just feels like a lost battle lost hope it just feels different you know what I mean yeah. it's just like not ah uh, I mean, everyone's just, like just at peace. Yeah. yeah, everyone's at peace with them. Okay, they'll win the league. So what? Like, yeah, they'll do this again. Yeah, I just know. Yeah. I think and it's just a coping mechanism at the end. It's just. You know, like, you know that this club is bought using oil money, you know, like, maybe things are not fully legitimate and that's, like, how you justify yourself not doing as well as the club, like, as well as City are doing at this point. And, yeah, that's that's why, I guess, like, just, there's no motivation other teams have to, like, smaller teams rather have to, in, to like, upset the, they don't even believe that they can upset City or, like, do something or get something yeah. out. I mean, to your point, Nihal, the initial you made, the amount of innovations that Guardiola does every season, that is one of the reasons why I feel like Arsenal cannot win it because yeah. it's not that we can't cope with the uh, with those things. I mean, we can be we five points behind then two points last season. So I don't think there's much difference in terms of the overall squad. I think City's squad is better than Arsenal's, and I think Arteta. I'm not saying Arteta is better than Guardiola, no, not at all. But I think Arteta is pulling or getting much more out of Arsenal than Guardiola is at City at this point. Maybe he can get much more. There's no difference maker. Like, you know, there are games where Guardiola, even guard, every manager is just can't, you know, win you the games. And then there's like KDB who will who's, who'll be the manager on the pitch. He'll just do a, he'll just make a random dash from the middle, pass it to Haaland and Haaland will score like a goal that he scored for his hat trick, the fourth goal for City. I mean, you don't expect that goal from anybody else. At least not in Arsenal. I don't expect it from anybody, especially not from Kai Arbe. For all his qualities, he's not that. And we just don't yeah. have that player except for Saga. So, it's curtain, boys. It's, it's curtains. Um, dude, it's game week two. Can you stop being so... Like... <laughs> <laughs> you are the you you are our hope, dude. You are the hope for the league to, like, you know, dethrone this, like, five-peat machine. So, just shut the fuck up. 